Hey, Sophie King John, back again with you on attempt of. Well, I got a review. One I've got a review. Budget Super Market. Little. And it's San Burton. Four on a Richter scale. A wee bit of Edith Piaf there for you. <laughs> Anybody that you know who Edith Piaf is? Argentina. And just Google it. Do you know, an opera singer or something? I don't know. Something like that, anyway. So, anyway, San Bertin. I bought a wee 10 pack of them couple of weeks ago and I saved one just for a review so what did I think of the other nine? Well, this is number 10 we'll soon find out so let's get it in pop the cork look at the smoke there's no smoke there is no smoke that was for Mark the Pondering Man that little gag so anyway, let's get it in a wee holstein glass see what it's all about it's a wee dumpy I quite like, I quite enjoy the supermarket dumpies, to be honest with you. We but lots of sort of I've not used this glass in a while. So a lot of racing carbonation going up there. So let's get it all in. Touch that glass well actually. My wee hosting glass. So here we have uh, the culprit in the glass, San Bertien. Four on the Richter scale. Brewed in France, believe it or not. Absolutely nothing on the nose. A little bit of light corn, maybe. Well, as Americans would say, corn syrup. Uh, nothing at all. Not even that lager aroma, that Euro lager aroma you get. Maybe if it had been 5% and slightly over, you'd be wafting that. Well, anyway, it's all about the taste. So, Sophie drunk drinking a ah, San Bertian from Lidl's for an erector. Slangeva. Let's see what it's all about. Well, it's 4% laggers go. It's a 4% lager. Uh, it's nice, it's light, it's clean, it's crisp. It's a lot better than a lot of things out there you get in the UK, like Carlings and Fosters and stuff like that. Hasn't really got that Euro glide to it you get in the Euro laggers. I think that's probably because it's only four on the Richter. I always find that you get the Euro laggers at 5%, you've always got that lovely Euro continental taste. You, you, this is not got that a little bit light a little bit thin but believe it or not it's actually not bad I paid five four ninety nine for ten bottles uh, that size as I, we call them up here the wee dumpies uh, I paid what's in it just round about 50 pence a bottle it's okay, it's one of those ones, if you were up and you're not much of a beer drinker, but you like your shots, you like your whiskies, you like your gin, whatever, you can easily have a bottle of that on the side, that's what I use it for. You can actually just sit and enjoy a couple of cheeky ones and have that on the side and it's not going to take the taste away from your favourite spirit. Yeah, so it's okay, it's, it's a winner. Believe it or not, it is a winner. Like all the wee dumpy bottles, the wee French uh, dumpy bottles, they all win it for me. And there are a lot of people out there saying, Why would you drink that shit? Well, through choice, I quite like these wee beers. And the supermarkets are always selling them for the simple reason is there's a demand for them. And it's for the person who does not like a lot of beer. Uh, I do like a lot of beer. When I'm drinking beer, I like a lot of beer. But when I'm drinking, Shots, uh, if I drink vodka, or gin, or whiskey, or rum, whatever it is, I quite like a beer on the side, and that ticks my box. So, anyway, would I drink Saint Bertin? Bertin? Saint Bertin! You'd have PF again coming out to play. Four on a Richter scale, uh, would I drink this again? Quite possibly would. Uh, so, what am I going to give it? Sofa King Drunk's going to give that 
a Sofa King drunk rating of the wee dumpy bottle size rating of I'm gonna give that a six and a half out of ten. It's one of those wee sort of wee beers I'm going to return to, always will return to, and offensive. You could even have that with your dinner. It's not gonna put any heavy taste on your buds, whatever you've got you're having it with, your food, maybe a wee whiskey, a wee whatever you're having it with. It's always going to be, that's always going to be the main course. It's one of those wee beers. They're nice, 4%. I would like to taste maybe these kind of beers, maybe a 5%. It'd be a lot better and a lot nicer to taste. So anyway, so if you can drink, thank to Saint Bertin. Bertin. Um, if you've had this beer before, you liked it, you didn't like it, you know the script, drop a line below. And if not, so if you can drunk, I'll hopefully catch you in another beer reviewing race real soon. And if you stayed along to the end of this one, I salute you. Ciao for now. Keep drinking the good wee dumpy bottles of beer out there. There's loads of them. Try your supermarkets, your Tesco, your Morrisons and your Asda, your Lidl's and you know. Try them all. They've all got their own wee variation. Most of them are French. But have a go at them. Slangy for.